Hello, this is Joanne Pereira from Design Inc. with uh, the second in our series of drawing joinery or millwork drawings in SketchUp. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be building out the cupboard here that we have started to create the elevation. So you can see we've created a toe kick, a shadow line, and we've blocked out the five doors. What we are going to create is this piece of joinery here, and you will see it has five doors. There is a back on this door, on this cupboard, and we will be putting in detail into the cupboard so showing the differences in um, the depth between the the toe kick the shadow line and so on so let's jump in and get started so I used the copy that we created to create this but all we have to do is to use our move tool and our option key and actually make another copy so we can make as many of those as we like. And you can see here, it's got the same properties as this one. It's all in, it's all grouped. And this is, this is actually a great way if you're going, if you want to show your clients different options of, of not having to start from scratch every time you, you make a change. So for example, let's say they wanted, a client wanted to make four uh, doors rather than five you can easily go into this model and adjust it to suit so let's jump in so the first thing we're going to do is go into our model and we're going to pull out the dimension so we know that the finished dimension of the model is 580 so we're going to use our push pull tool and make it 580 deep and we are going to and as you probably know if you double click then you they will it will remember the measurements that you have so you can see you've got five here now with the toe kick I'm going to pull it out to the dimension and we usually leave about the the width or the depth of or the thickness of the doors so in this case the doors are going to be a standard melamine or laminate so probably around 20 mil so I'm just going to push that back 20 mil and I'm going to hop over to the and do exactly the same thing so pull it out to the edge it's much easier and then push it back another 20 mil okay so now we've created our toe kick and our shadow line and I just want to hop over and look at the back of it and you'll see it doesn't actually have a back now we probably want to put one in because we would like to when we're doing the internals we'd like to create so I'm just going to grab the rectangle tool and close this off and you'll see there's it's sitting there within that group now so let's hop back to the front and what we're going to do now is to create the offset so as you can see from our inspiration image which is here we have this depth here and then it's pushed back now I'm going to create this dimension here to be around 20 mil and I'm going to also create this depth here and I'll just make it about 10 mil about one centimeter so let's jump back in our model and we use our offset tool and we make our offset oops we make our offset 20 okay so and then you know if you go out of this if you click on this and you double click it should actually keep the same dimension here so we've created it now in order to you'll see we've picked up the inside in order to create that illusion of depth we're going to use a push pull tool and we're going to push it push it in another 10 mil and then we can then double click on each of these and it's done so you can see now we've got a pretty realistic looking 
cupboard here. Now, when we bring it into a rendering engine like Enscape and V-Ray, we want to have some shadow. And one of the things is the, having the shadow between these depths. Now, I'm not worrying too much about detailing these side panels because they're going to be sitting within a nib wall and, a, and an exterior wall, so you're not going to see it. But if you did have um, a, if you did have this end exposed, for example, you might want to think about how how you want to create realism here. But in this case, it's, it's not so important. But what we're actually really interested in is these gaps between the, to create this dark shadow. So let's hop back into our model. And you can see here in this photo, you can see the very, very dark shadow between the gaps of the joinery. And even, you can even in your rendering even create these mitered corners if if you like and that gives it even more realism but we're going to create these gaps so the way we're going to do that is to hop back in our model get right in there so here and we're going to pick up this line here and we're going to use the move tool to create a three millimeter gap so the first thing we do is we, we choose the move tool and then we use our option button and we're going to bring this to about 1.5 mil. Okay, now if we go in there, you can see that very clearly. We're going to choose the move tool again and then we're going to bring this back 3 mil. So you can see this gap between this line and this line here is three mil. So we don't need this. So we're going to actually just delete it. And what we're interested in is this space here. And we're going to use our push pull tool to move it back about five mil, or it could even be 80 mil. So let's make it 10 mil. Okay, so what we're doing is actually creating a gap between these doors of around three mil. Now this, you can basically go on and do the same thing, but I get a bit lazy. So what I do is I would shift select all of these lines and do exactly the same thing. So I choose the move tool. I use my option key. I move it back 1.5 mil. I go in here and then I use the option key again and I move all of them back three mil and you can see it's actually created those lines all at the same time. So then I can go in here and I want to delete all those lines in the middle. So let me just choose that one and delete it. And then this one and delete it. And then here I'm going to use the push pull and I'm going to make it 10. And then I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm just grabbing that thing and I'm moving it back to 10. And then the last one, I think it's here. Then, oops. And then that's 10. There we go. And you'll see now you have these gaps. And when it comes to rendering, these little sh shadows will actually show. So just like we've got a little bit of dimension here, we'll actually, we actually have a little bit of depth. And this creates interest to draw, makes it much more realistic. So that's the end of this tutorial and in the next tutorial we are going to be creating some textures. So we might want to just go into our wardrobe elevation and view it from the front here and update. Um, if you'd like you can update this scene so it can show more of the wardrobes that you've created so we can just update this scene so thanks for watching 
and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.